I'm Chip East, and I'm, and I'm out here with Danny Carroll. We're with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, and we answer a lot of questions every year about pecans. They're falling to the ground, or they're just not productive on, uh, in people's yards. Danny, is there anything that can be done to increase the production in homeowner situation? There's actually a couple of things that um, homeowners can do to increase their production. The one thing that they have going against them is how large these trees can get and the lack of pesticides or equipment that you usually have just lying around the house that you would be able to, to spray up a pecan tree. But how about we talk about some of these other things that homeowners can do? Good idea. Pecan trees growing around our homes and sparse and erratic production, surely there are some things that homeowners can do to improve. When planting new trees, make sure your site is pecan friendly. Well-drained soils in full sun will produce more pecans than those planted on a rocky slope or in shady conditions. Also remember that pecans are large trees. Give them enough space to grow so their mature canopies are not shading one another. Weed control and mulch is something to consider when managing pecan trees. A large weed and grass-free zone of about 15 feet in diameter around the trunk of a tree is desirable. Mulching this zone will also help conserve moisture and manage weeds. Water can be a limiting factor for homeowners. Pecans are thirsty trees. Irrigating during the dry months, and especially in August and September, when nuts are filling out, could increase production. Most home pecan trees are under-fertilized, and proper fertility could increase production. Pecan trees are heavy feeders, and a soil test is the best way to know for sure how much fertilizer to apply. Remember to apply the recommended fertilizer evenly under the tree and in an area twice the branch spread. For established trees, apply the fertilizer and lime on the surface. Roots do not like to be disturbed. And of course, everyone wants a tree that is disease resistant and produces large pecans. However, no tree is resistant to every disease or insect. The most common pecan problem is scab, a fungal disease, and some scab resistant pecan cultivars are available. Some of the recommended pecan trees that are scab resistant are hard to find locally and may need to be ordered a year in advance. Pecan nurseries and additional pecan growing information can be found on the Alabama Pecan Growers website. It would be beneficial to keep your pecan orchard clean. Remove twigs and limbs as soon as they fall. Fallen limbs can harbor insect pests. I hope you learned some tips on pecan production and you'll have a greater yield. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call at your local county extension office or look us up on the web, www.aces.edu.